What's up everybody, TCM here back with another video. And today I wanted to talk to you about mental health. And I think this is something that everybody goes through whether they like to admit it or not. And I kind of want to talk about my journey and my mental health and uh, my story, I guess, through it in the last few months or so. And this is going to be kind of an off the cuff video. This is one of those where I'm not going to have any ads or anything like that, um, at least from sponsorship. I'm just going to kind of just sit here and talk to you about the past few months and kind of some advice and some things that I've noticed along my way and um, how it's you know kind of helped me and some of the strategies I've taken. So if you didn't notice uh, a few months ago, my content stopped right youtube stopped twitch stopped and i took time away i basically said hey i am retiring from youtube and that is truly how i felt i i wanted to retire from youtube i wanted to retire from twitch at least partially retire um, in the sense that i just didn't have time for it anymore and at the end of the day where i was at was i was running a business uh, the business was picking up speed. We were hiring employees and it was starting to get to the point where I'm not just managing myself and clients. Now I'm managing other people and keeping track of schedules and doing all these things. Um, on top of that, I was in college doing the WGU thing, which you saw, um, which I backed out of. And I'll talk about that, too. Um, I was uh, teaching college classes. I was trying to do Twitch streaming. I was trying to do YouTubing. I'm trying to create courses and content. I'm trying to create a certification. There's all these things going on at once. And one of the big issues I think with me personally is that I I'm somebody that likes to say yes to everything. Um, I posted on Twitter for New Year's resolution is to learn how to say no. And I've gotten better at that, but I'm still not perfect at it. In the sense that if somebody comes to me and they say, hey, we want you to do this podcast. Yes, absolutely. Um, hey, we want you to speak at this conference. Yes, I'll do that. Or hey, can you come speak to this college? Yeah, I'll do that. And I do it because I like doing it. I like spreading information about information security in, in this field. But at, at a point in time, it becomes too much where you say yes to everything and then your schedule's full. And with all this work and everything else, you also have to find time for your family, for your diet, for everything else. And if you had looked at some of my past videos, I'm not going to put a picture up. Um, you guys did a good enough job reminding me. You probably saw that I gained a lot of weight. Um, I wasn't sleeping very much. I wasn't taking time to focus on health or eating because I was just sitting here at my desk working on 10 things at once. I wanted to be Superman and it, it just didn't work out. So at that point in time, you I had to figure out what is it that I wanted to to give up and what could I do um, from from a perspective where, hey, I'm dealing with burnout bad if I don't give up on something. And I love to do all of these things. I love to create videos. I love to do Twitch streaming. I, I love doing everything. But at the end of the day, I had to do something to kind of step away and back away and do something for my mental health. Now, it's never anything where I felt like I was depressed or I felt suicidal. And when you think about mental health, you think about a lot of different things that could be. For me, it was mental health in the sense of burnout, in the sense that I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't taking care of priorities. I wasn't prioritizing things. And I think that I got so, uh, I guess, so uh, wound up on being Superman and yes man and, and wanting to do everything for anybody that asked that I wasn't being a yes man for myself. Um, I wasn't taking care of my my health mentally or physically. Um, I've lost some weight. I've been working out, been lifting weights and running and doing cardio and stuff like that. And it's it's kind of helped. And, and from this perspective, stepping away, even for a few months, has been one of the better things that I have done uh, for my career. In a sense of monetization or business or anything like that, um, YouTube is a, a big driver for me, not from a ads or revenue standpoint, but 
the the more people who learn who I am, the more people I can drive to perhaps TCM security, um, maybe from academy perspective or maybe from a, um, you know, somebody needs a pen test perspective. So stepping away from that hurts. Um, stepping away from Twitch, same thing. Exposure is a lot of it. And when you say, hey, I'm going to back away from my biggest market and take a take time away that's a serious thing so um it was a decision that wasn't taken lightly for me but it was something that i felt like i had to do um in that time in this time away i also decided to withdraw from wgu um i felt the courses were good in case those of you were wondering but i felt like for me it was repetitive um, I was going and learning a lot of coding classes and doing stuff that I have already done before. And for me, I just felt like, hey, I know this stuff. So if I can't prove from another technical standpoint for a PhD application, I'm not going to spend more time overwhelming myself because I was literally putting in hours on projects and studying and stuff like that at night when I really didn't have the time to do it. So that it comes down to a decision too, where if I go to a PhD program, am I going to want to do that? Um, Cause those are time consuming. And what will I have to go up there? Probably teaching, probably something else if I go down that route. Um, so what I'm telling you about all this is, is well, in, in this three month span, I've been able to lose some weight. I've been able to um, release a course. We released the external pen test playbook. I was able to release the certification, the PNPT, and you know that has taken off really well. And that's something that I've been talking about for what, six months to a year? I just never had time to do it. So being able to back away was so nice. Um, you know, being able to manage relationships and do more things with, with my wife and go out and, and you know, have nurturing, I guess, nurturing your relationships, very important too. And so I'm telling you my story, um, not that it necessarily relates to your story, but I'm telling you this because maybe you're dealing with some sort of burnout. Maybe you're sitting here right now and you're saying, hey, I'm studying for all these different things, or I'm in college, or I'm going to work, or I have a family, and I'm doing all these things, and I'm literally pulling my hair out. That was me. Um, and so with that, I, I think that these, the best thing that you can do is, is walk away. Um, and this can be, this can be for a day. This could be for an hour. Let's say that you're studying and you feel burnt out and you just need to, you need something, you need a break, a mental break happens all the time. Um, do something that calms you. For me, I like to go play video games. I'll go play Overwatch. Um, I might go for a walk or I might go shoot hoops outside. Um, I might just go watch some TV. Take an hour away and just decompress. Give your mind a chance to reset before you go back into it. Now, there are extended burnouts in the sense that, hey, maybe you've been going through a certification or you're studying for a class or in, and then you pass that class. Sometimes you want to ride that momentum right into the next thing. At least I do. When I'm on a high and I'm I'm studying for something, I want to keep that momentum going. I don't want to get lazy and, and not study or do anything else. Um, so I, I go back and I study the next thing. And that's not always the best approach. You might need to take time off. Maybe take a week for yourself. Don't study anything. Just take a break and relax. Prioritize what you need to do and make sure that you're focusing on yourself as well. Now, for me, it had gotten to the point of I need an extended period of time away and that helped. I am back to what feels like 100 percent. I've got my things in order. I think that uh, I can now come back and handle the schedule that I'm on that I've set for myself and be able to still put out the content in the things that I want to do. But that took stepping away. That took um, you know, a little bit of, I, I guess, um, hurting myself mentally in the sense that I felt like I was letting people down. Some of you weren't so nice about me taking time away. Some of you were, were saying some mean things, which, you know, it is what it is. But at the same time, I feel like, hey, I I have almost an obligation to my students and to YouTube and and Twitch and people that want to learn and, and learn these things. But at the same time, I'm a human being, too. Um, and I had to do what was best for me. So on the topic of mental health and the topic of burnout, 
if you're feeling burnt out, find priorities. Uh, there may be something that you can take away from, even if it doesn't feel like it's a great, I don't want to say great choice, but it doesn't feel great. Like for me, leaving YouTube or leaving Twitch didn't feel great. It wasn't something I wanted to do, but it was something that I had to do. Um, so think about your priorities. Think about from a burnout perspective, if you're feeling it, do you need an hour? Do you need a day away, a weekend, um, you know, a week, a month, a couple months? Everybody's different. Everybody's burnout levels are, are different too. And this is one of the biggest things that I hear everybody talk to me about is, hey, I'm feeling so burnt out. I'm feeling so overwhelmed. If that's you right now, take take a day. Take a day. Think about what it is that you're doing, where your goals are, where you want to be. And are things getting in the way? Are, are things holding you up? Is there something that you can put maybe temporarily on the back burner and make work for you? So that's really it. I, I just kind of wanted to, I guess, clear the air and and talk about, hey, where where's the cyber mentor been? And and, and really have a PSA on just mental health. Um, it affects everybody. Uh, it affects your your favorite YouTubers, if I'm your favorite, or any of everybody's human. Again, everybody's human. We all go through different things. Um, for me, I thought I was Superman and eventually it caught up with me. And um, I, I think taking that time away has really helped me prioritize and understand what it is I need to do now. I'm happy to be here making content again and making videos and I've got a lot of cool plans for for YouTube and I've got a cool plans for Twitch coming up um, and I, I want to get back on somewhat of the grind again for that. So uh, I'm excited to be back, but I am here to to be in front of you to say, hey, um, you know, it, it happens to me, it happens to you and it's OK. Um, being burnt out is OK. Just make sure that you understand and know your limits and know that when it's you need to take a break, take a break. OK, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for listening to me rant and talk. Um, I will be seeing you very shortly in a new video. So peace out.